it was either Carolyn or Janet, or maybe it was Paula talking about how precise he is. He took 30 minutes oh, yeah. to explain to me the anatomy and physiology of my nose, <laughs> what exactly we were going to Just take the thing off. I don't care. But I, mean, I had to be, you know, be, be nice and, be and listen to it. So we got it all done, and he's got this professional thing going on, and Kathy's all ready to go, and I'm scared to death. He gets the xylocaine in the, in, and he turns to put the xylocaine in, and he squirts it in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and he is incredulous. Oh. Have you ever seen the Harmy Corman and uh, Tim Conway deal with the, the dentist? Yeah. It turns into that. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard, you know, but I'm trying to be respectful, and he is just incredulous with himself. Because he's swift xylocaine. In, in then he proceeds to explain to me the anatomy and physiology of an eye. Xylocaine <laughs> <laughs> is not going to affect it. Dr. Tom Boyce. <laughs> so I'm I'm Tom Boyce. I'm uh, Uncle Bill's nephew. I'm the the eldest of this generation of cousins that you see around here. And um, actually, the first thing I want to say to Lorraine is that when I told my dear wife Jill of 41 years that you said that Uncle Dill had not said a swear word in 67 years. <laughs> She kind of looked at me and said, well, you could try for 67 days. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I'm the only one, I think, in um, our generation that followed him into medical education and yeah, into exactly. medicine. Yeah. So it's only fitting that I share a couple of, um, of the most ancient uh, stories of Bill's um, training period in medical education. And these were both stories told to me by my my dad, um, who was Dill's younger brother, they were um, very close, and one or both of the stories may be apocryphal, but my dad told me these stories multiple times with, you know, great reliability and accuracy, so I think they're probably true. So one um, is in medical school. I think Dill went to ne Northwestern Medical School, and you all know that doctors learn gross anatomy by dissecting a cadaver. And you do that with four or five other young medical students gathered around various <coughs> parts of this cadaver. And there came to the point where um, Bill and his comrades were dissecting the left upper quadrant of the, of the belly in the stomach and spleen and duodenum area. And Bill apparently went in the night before and pulled the stomach up and made a little incision in the bottom of it and took a, a little cup of cream cheese and <laughs> put, it, put it up into the stomach and left it there. And then, and then the next day, when they went to open the stomach and examine the lining of the stomach, Dill makes this incision, looks in, takes a cracker out of his cheese and spreads it on the cracker and eats it. The other, the other story is um, that apparently World War II started before his medical training was finished. And he, there was a period of several years while the war was going on and he was still training as a surgeon. And there was apparently this encounter on a public bus, I would presume in Los Angeles where he was doing his... No, it was in Chicago. Was it Chicago? Yeah, Chicago. <laughs> and um, here he was, you know, he was a young, young guy dressed like I am, um, going and coming from medical school. I bet he didn't wear jeans. I didn't wear jeans. Well, <laughs> yeah. back then, yeah. And there was this very righteous old lady who looked him up and down and said, so young man, why are you not in uniform? And he looked at her and he said, well, it's syphilis, you know. <laughs> gives you a feeling for this sense of humor. They wouldn't take all the medical students because they, or they were seniors, they were just finished. So they said, no, go back. You know, he, he joined the Navy, but then he had to finish. And so they took him... Uh, 
he had nine months of internship. Did he and then he nine? went. Oh, he even the, had. He did have some. He had nine nine months of internship, yeah. and then he shipped overseas to yeah. the South Pacific as yeah. a doctor on a ship. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't even a surgeon. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. He did. He did. Uh, but he did his first appendectomy on that ship. ship. Uh, yeah. yeah. <coughs> so I'll just I'll finish by just saying yeah. that that I am certain that Uncle Dill is the reason that I've now have, had 40 years in, uh, in medicine. Um, Carolyn alluded to this kind of Christ-like character uh, <laughs> that, that he had, and it's, it, it, it's actually true. He was a, a, a person of just amazing depth of, of character. And I think that, as I think back on his life, the thing in my interactions with him, the thing that was just at the very heart of who he was, um, was his humility. He, uh, he was one of the most accomplished and humble people that I've